I grew up in San Jose, uh, and where I'm teaching now is around Fremont Milpitas. And in this Bay Area, there's so many Asian kids around here. A lot of Asian kids tend to not raise their hands. They tend to not be super involved in classroom activities. And the reason is only if you study hard can you be successful. Can you go to a good college and get a good job? For some kids, that's just not the right path for them. They want to do something else. They want to be public speakers. They want to be public figures. They want to do acting. They want to do theater. They want to do dancing, something like that. I want to tell them, hey, there's more to life than just studying. I want you to express yourself, really express yourself, tell the people who you are instead of doing what your parents or your teachers tell you to do. So I think that's a big difference between teaching here than maybe teaching somewhere else. Do you think being a teacher is easy? Oh no. When I was in Japan, I was there for two years. The first year I really thought I was doing nothing right. Um, but every class is so different. Every class you kind of learn something about yourself. Not easy, but getting easier. What is your secret talent? I actually run quite a bit. So in Japan, I used to run races. So these are races, uh, 5k races, 10k races. Uh, for Americans, a 5k is around three miles, a 10k is around six miles, something like that, that I can run maybe like an hour, an hour and a half, and do a good job. So that's my secret talent. It gets easier. Every day it gets a little easier, but you have to do it every day. I love playing piano. I've been playing piano since I was six or seven years old, and I still play for fun every day now and then. If you were a teacher, what would your job be? Sure, I would be making stuffed animals. So I actually really like cute things. That I had a little stuffed animal, I have a little blue bunny that I had when I was a child. Um, ever since then, I really loved cute things. So I think I would do a really good job and making cute products that everybody would love. Underrepresented communities everywhere. And obviously, there's, it's not just Asians, a lot of people are underrepresented. So I think what's best for us as a community and what's great about Able to Shine. This so I think that's something that Able to Shine is trying to do, is we're trying to help build up students' confidence and public speaking and really get them out there in the community. And I think that's going to be something that really helps out. Hopefully, as Asian kids grow up, they can see more Asian figures in movies or on TV or things like that, and then they